interesting, but you have to be concerned about your kids and what they're looking at on the internet. I'm concerned about what I'm seeing on the internet. Well, you and, know? and and you're you saying that there was something there. just this week on NPR, right? And they were talking about the disinformation campaign Ooh. that's being ramped up by the Trump administration, right? As part of their re-election campaign, right? To discredit the mainstream media, right? And how it's I mean, they're really cranking it up now, and they've done it before, right? And yes, they have, and, and and evidently the uh, the Russians have really showed them the way, yes, um, how yes. to do it now, and, and they're really taking it right out of their playbook. Yeah, how you get out there and the you dis- set up the website. You set up the websites, okay, and you put information out there, and you see what kind of followers you get, and you keep right. pumping out these messages. And, right, uh, and if you've got the um, algorithms that will capture the data from people who connect with you around that issue or who you send it to, yes, then they've got that person. And once they've got okay. that, they can tailor the next message, right? And they can keep doing that. And right. they were saying that it now is the time to really be aware because you're going to start getting them on your phone, yes. and you're going to start getting them on your emails and all the social media. And once you're out there, and they get your information enough to connect with you, it will continue. Yeah, it's almost like you can't turn the faucet off of all of that flow <laughs> well put, of well information. Put. And uh, yeah, so the disinformation, the misinformation. Yes, there's a yes. difference. Yes, there is. Take a look at that. But the, but the idea that we're in this world where just about anything goes 